PowerPoint, we're at Beacon. Uh, so I'm Matthew, this is CC. Zul. Oh, we can, I thought his name was Z. Uh, Josh and me. So uh, we built an ecosystem with a few different ways of getting data into the web. Um, we'll talk more about that in a few minutes, but um, CC will give us more of a rundown on how we got there. So the team is myself, CC, Josh, uh, Z, and Naveen. Next slide. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, we we're talking about med med uh, medical equipment. So um, I guess looking at what's happening in the world, we saw that there is some major loss in the U.S. You know, 11 million dollars, um, and then in U.K. there's you know over a billion dollars in, in medical equipment being lost, and they're talking about 23 days that's lost by nurses looking for missing equipment in hospitals. Um, unfortunately, I can't find any data from Australian perspective. It could either be that Australian hospitals are extremely well managed, which I would say that Josh, sorry, um, Jason, is, <laughs> is not agreeing to that, or alternatively, they haven't been reported widely. So um, it's still a problem. It's not a not an issue. So. A number of people will give you some examples. Uh, have everyone been into hospital, medical, or emergency departments? Have you been waiting there for like four hours without being seen? So this David here is pretty un unfortunate. You know, had an accident, broken his his uh, ankle, but the nurses couldn't find any priest. So he was just waiting there, being extremely in pain. One example, and then we've got the nurse. Nurse, she is extremely um, very diligent, but she still can't find a lot of equipment. And she spends a lot of time, as I say earlier, in the UK, they're saying 23 days in, in, in their working life and looking for equipment. And they're really they're responsible for anything that's missing as well. So they need to report on the, the condition of the equipment and whether it's you know everything is there so that they plan the day, etc. Then the surgeons, we've got John and Jen. Um, and they need all the equipment ready and sometimes they can't find the equipment and they get really, really frustrated. They can't really perform well in the operating theater. And that's um, um, you know, an event of life or death so in some serious in incidences. Then you know, obviously they rely on nurses to look after them to get everything ready. And then we've got the, the hospital administrator. And obviously, they have the responsibility for the running of the entire hospital, for the medic, for the uh, safety and the conditions of the assets, as well as minimizing losses in terms of the profit of the organization. So they're relying on all the medical staff and also relying on the administration staff to make it happen. So as I was saying, these are all the problems that we have in hospitals in relation to assets. And now we're going on to Josh to talk about what are the potential solutions. Thank you. So some of the tech that we could use to help solve the, uh, the asset tracking, it could range from really cheap, really simple, like a QR code or an NFC tag, and then go to quite complex where you're having um, IoT devices or Bluetooth beacons on all of your valuable assets and then setting up a network so you can know instantly where where your assets are across your hospital. This isn't just for hospitals as well, it can also translate to aged care facilities and this sort of thing. So um, we've gone with the cheaper ones to the more, most expensive ones, as you can see here. So we think the QR code is a really practical, quick, cheap, simple way, low risk, to be able to track and report assets, uh, where their state, their logs, that sort of thing. Whereas if you had a, a GPS system, a battery powered GPS system or an IoT device on all of your assets, um, that's, that's quite a big network, that's a lot of hardware infrastructure, massive cost to implement. So, um, going back one, so QR code, and then, so also the Bluetooth beacons. So this still is a practical solution. 
Um, and we've all seen those tile icons where you can find, you know, find your keys because you've got a Bluetooth, um, Bluetooth beacon on your keys. So you could do a similar approach to all of your assets across an aged care facility or hospital or something like that. So how does it work? For example, you can see here, this is an expensive medical device, looks like an ultrasound, and it's got a QR code. So here you can quickly check, um, say that it's, um, uh, that the, there's a malfunction, you need to report a log, um, and something like that. There's, and then, then you go to the Bluetooth approach where um, you can have a Bluetooth beacon on that device because if the device is missing, the QR code is no good because you can't stand and you can't report it, right? Because there's no QR code. So that's where the Bluetooth comes in. So there's a level one stage and a level two stage as well. So how does a Bluetooth beacon work? You can see here, this is a room. You can see here that it has Bluetooth beacons around the room and then a central cloud beacon which reports the location of all the Bluetooths, the Bluetooth beacons. <coughs> and obviously it's accessible by, by a web panel. Another really useful application is to have a QR code on, um, on the door. So staff can actually, so the hospital staff need to log who they've seen throughout the day and what they've done. And apparently this is a, is a, um, is, takes a lot of time to do. So if you had a phone where you could just scan, you can pre-fill the form of the customer and quickly do all your lobby for the day. And I think we have a demo. Do you test it left with your sister who's in the hospital? Yeah, that's right. So here is the demo. So, so you can have QR codes all over the hospital. And uh, if you need to report something, you can just scan it. And that opens a fast report tool, so it's really quick to, um, to report things missing or things need checking. And then this can obviously send to a, um, send an SMS or an email to the cleaner. So, I've submitted that on my phone. And then the, this is a web dash panel where you can see reporting hazards around the hospital um, or missing items or something like that. Is that real time? Yes. yes. So that's the um, four o'clock this morning? Let's go down. Maybe oh, it's GMT. Just checking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's UTC time. <laughs> as a numbers person, so I'll just talk about a little bit about um, how does the finance work in terms of the, this. So in terms of the cost, there's really minimal cost in, uh, for the QR code itself. And what's more, you know, what will cost more is about the development of the monitoring system, uploading the data, the actual customer interface that, you know, we've got to design that. Um, the, the demo is already designed, you know, over the last 24 hours basically designed a little demo of that very quick system, so it can be done in a rel relatively quick uh, space as well. And then we have the implementation cost at hospitals or the aged care facility, which is could be uh, more substantial because it, it'll mean that you're actually applying QR codes to all the assets or, or whatever you decide which level of asset you want to apply it to. Um, but that is, you know, it will be weighed against what, what benefit it's actually getting the hospitals in terms of, uh, you know, not missing the equipment, getting the equipment reported straight away when there is, you know, anything wrong with it or, you know, that all, all those sort of things. Um, and obviously there's training costs for employees, there's ongoing application maintenance costs and, and then the data management as well. So we talk thinking about, you know, this is not a free thing that we're managing. So we're going to, you know, some, some ideas about business model in terms of what revenue we're going to get. 
obviously you can do a, a once in a while initial setup revenue only and the client can manage it themselves so they, they do the management of all the data and everything and the second level is we will do a weekly monitoring of their assets and we do a set, initial setup revenue and then ongoing cost for maintenance subscription and then um, you know there is a co-op fee for for any specific things that we need to help them with and the third level is, is actually it's going to be daily monitoring a lot of intense help and but then in that case they, they pay a larger monthly subscription fee but they don't have to pay a call-out fee um, so in terms of competitors uh, or these are actually competitors that are in the US or in Canada that are in the space of more the beacons and the, the domestic or the, the indoor uh, location systems. Uh, so not they're not specifically on the, the QR code, Q, uh, QR code one. And uh, we haven't really found anything that's sort of competing with that. Although there are uh, ones in Australia that they're doing something similar but not not the same. Steps forward. Obviously, we need to build a broad prototype. We need to do field testing, um, improve the design, you know, market testing, early client adoption, all of that, those things. Uh, yeah, so that's all. We can have some uh, supporting slides as well if you have any other questions. <laughs>